All right. Okay. So, got the longest song out of the way. <laughs> I love playing that song, but sometimes I'm like, how close am I to the end? Oh yeah, I still have all this stuff to sing. Okay. <laughs> um, so the next song I'm going to play is my grandma's favorite song in this album, I think. Where did she go? Oh, you're right in the front row. I'm like, where is she? <laughs> I have a teacher who's always like, if you're sitting here in front of me, I'm never going to see you. <laughs> and that's what just made me think of. Okay, so this song is possibly the oldest song on this album. Writing-wise, I think it is. There you go. <laughs> um, I wrote this song, wow, probably in 2010 or early 2011. Um, this is called Beautiful Girl. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Um, this song is called Beautiful Girl. And on the CD, it's also subtitled Demi's Song. And um, some of you guys might have heard the story a million times, but I'm going to tell it anyways. Um, so I wrote this song about one of my favorite singers, still my favorite vocalist, Demi Lovato. Um, in 2010, I found out, heard on the radio, while I was driving home from school, that Demi Lovato was going to rehab. And I was like, what? She's a Disney star. Um, many of them end up not in such good places, but she was the one who I was like, this girl's never, nothing's ever going to happen to this girl. She's awesome. She's got strong faith, you know. And when I heard that on the radio, I was shocked. And I found out later on that she's going to rehab for um, bulimia and physical abuse cutting, which broke my heart in a million ways. I have such a heart for letting people know that they're beautiful and that God loves you the way you are, no matter the color of your skin, the color of your hair, how tall, how short. And thinking that this beautiful girl, Demi Lovato, so many girls hold her on this pedestal and she had fallen, which um, is what can happen when you get held up on a pedestal like that. But um, I wrote this song as a way to pour out what I would say to Demi if I could meet her face to face at that moment and tell her that you're beautiful, you've got so much going for you, you don't have to do this. So, um, Demi is okay now, she's releasing a new album this month, um, been out of rehab for a year and a half, is an advocate for um, teenage self-esteem, there you go, um, and is doing great things. So. That's the good news on the side of the story. Um, but this is called Beautiful Girl. And this, every time I sing this, I always think, beautiful girl, why did I write about girls? It's for guys, too. Guys are beautiful. Girls are beautiful. We're all beautiful. God made us, you know. So, <laughs> this is called Beautiful Girl. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's cool.